Their counselors were fantastic role models. They got to meet an undergraduate biomedical engineering student who's involved in, in research. They also had a graduate student in computer science who helps doctors and is a Girls Who Code instructor. I liked learning about the high school students and that they each have their own unique way of doing things. It's really interesting to see that they might be really, really passionate about something, but they won't come out and say it right away, but you can just pick up on little things about them and get to know them as a person. They learned about the community in Guatemala called Buena Vista, which has a community building right next to a health center. Both of those buildings have no lights unless they use a generator. So our solar suitcase project will power lights for two buildings that are side by side. They'll also be able to charge phones with the solar suitcase. And when the Engineers Without Borders student chapter from UWM is traveling there, they'll be able to power their laptop. We got a great opportunity to hear about the village from Diego Rivera, who is in Guatemala. Marissa, who is the faculty advisor for Engineers Without Borders, translated a speakerphone call so that the students could ask their questions about the community. The agua, y trabajamos también en, en baños en las escuelas. Two students really improved our communication tools that will be used in Guatemala for people to understand how the solar suitcase works. The people in Guatemala speak an Ishil language, which is very different from Spanish. So the communication can be really difficult, and these new illustrations and descriptive Spanish translations are going to help a lot. The campers met some amazing women engineers. They got to meet Lauren, an electrical engineer, now working with Generac. They met Carly, a mechanical engineer. They got to have lunch with Medea Ahmed, who's a professor of industrial engineering. They got to meet Dr. Priya Premnath and hear all of her stories about her journey as a biomedical engineer. The Enquest 2022 camp visited a community garden site in Milwaukee where the high school students collaborated with UWM architecture professors and partner organizations where they made shade and water collection structures. The Enquest campers prepared a big solar panel for installation there. The Enquest campers also were able to visit various labs on campus. They visited the foundry where they were able to make metal castings um, out of black sand. And they also visited the Advanced Mobility Biomechanics Lab where they were able to work with force plates and learn about gate analysis with Dr. Rammer. They also had a coding experience with Sammy where they learned various Python techniques. The Enquest campers got experiences to help them navigate their way towards college. They met an engineering academic advisor who got them thinking about what they're excited about, what they're nervous about when they think about their futures. The Enquest 2022 day campers made me really proud because they accomplished a lot in a very short time. <laughs>